One of our key themes is making technology human. We felt that if with our technology we can somehow pass on the experience of what life can be, for instance, in a refugee camp, think about what if that would happen to me, how would I react, how would I want the world to react. When the Syria refugee crisis began, I really wanted to do something about it and I felt really future generations, whether my kids or other kids, will ask us, well, where were you and what did you do, you know, what was your part, what was your role? If you leave people lingering like this in a refugee camp, kids with no prospects, no education, then you can imagine what these kids are going to, they're going to be angry and frustrated as teenagers and they grow up and they have no hope in life and no future. They are angry and you know like the kid we talked to in the camp the other day, he was top of his class in, in Syria, but here he's running around with a stick around the camp and bullying the other kids. What is he going to do when he's 24? I don't know, you know. I, I, ah. Do I clap? Yep. So we are here in Finland because of a very special family. I've known them for a few years now, since they were refugees in Lebanon. And they're here because their son Omar uh, has hormone deficiency problems. Uh, he doesn't grow uh, properly. He needs hormone injections daily. And they could, the family couldn't afford it in Lebanon. So they were a priority for resettlement case and they brought them here. They're hoping that he can get the medical help he needs. He will grow like a normal child and he will hopefully have a, a good future like you know any other child.